Undertaker, one of wrestling's greatest legends in the history of the business. Farther out by his nicknames, the Dead Man, the Phenom, and of course, the American Badass. The Undertaker has been through a lot in his career. Throughout his time, he's even won the World Championship seven times. And more importantly, he's even been through a lot throughout his lifetime and legacy that this man is now inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame and one of the greatest legends of all time. Well, it seems to me that there's a lot going on with The Undertaker these days. I mean, whether or not he's in the ring, or sometimes he's even outside the ring doing the right thing for a reasonable cause, or other things that people don't know about. My name is Cole Behan, representing 412 Films, and today we're going to be talking about some amazing things that you don't know about The Undertaker. Some amazing facts about him from inside the ring for all his accomplishments and outside of it. He hasn't always been the phenom. When professional wrestlers go through a few different ring names throughout their career, Undertaker has gone through eight. When he first entered the business, he was known simply as the Master of Pain. He then became Texas Red, the Punisher, Punisher, Tech Morgan, Commando, Mean Mark Calloways, and the Undertaker. Before Undertaker became, well, The Undertaker, he was Kane The Undertaker. He was given the first name to make it easier on announcers who just didn't really use it for his first few matches. The WWF then dropped Kane from his name and would eventually give it to Undertaker's brother. Well, the other thing turns out that it looks like that The Undertaker was only known as Mean Mark Calloway that's something I didn't know about at times, but Mark Calloway is his real name, which I'm kind of stunned about from the very beginning. But mean Mark was somebody that you didn't want to mess with outside the wrestling world. If there was ever a dream match between Mark, Mean Mark and The Undertaker, who do you think will win? My bet is The Undertaker. Let me know down in the comments who do you think will win this battle. He wasn't always a wrestler. The Undertaker isn't just a talented professional wrestler. Oh no, he's a solid all-around athlete after high school. Taker took his talent to Texas, Wallace University. Taker was a talented basketball player and spent a couple of years playing at a two-year college in Texas before heading to Texas, Wallace for the 1985-86 basketball season with the Rams of TWU. Unfortunately for TWU Rams, fans he founded professional wrestling shortly after coming to school. And from there, it was all history. Imagine if he made it to the NBA. Mark Calloway going up against David Robinson or Hakami Ologin. Yeah, it turns out that The Undertaker, I was even stunned enough to know that I didn't know he started off in basketball before I was even before I was even born during the time. I, mean, I myself did basketball, but I never knew The Undertaker did it while he was in college or in school. But for myself in school, it was a lot different than anything else. The Undertaker was the very first client of Paul Heyman. Although never in WWE, Paul Heyman, then known as Paul E. Dangerously, briefly managed Mean Mark in WCW. Heyman was the one who introduced Mark to note WWF producer Bruce Petrie. So in a way, Undertaker owes Heyman his... What? I can't even believe it. Paul Heyman was with The Undertaker during the time in WCW? Jeez, I gotta say though, if I were Roman Reigns, the only person he would have to acknowledge is The Undertaker. Because Paul Heyman wasn't always a, a special advisor to Roman Reigns back then. He was always 
doing things differently with a cell phone, hitting guys in the back of the head before running ECW at the time. And needless to say, though, I think that Mean March may have been cheated out of every title imaginable thanks to Paul Heyman. Undertaker's four kids. So yeah, it actually turns out the Undertaker has three daughters and one son. His son, his first kid, by the name of Gunnar Vincent Calloway, Gunnar was born in 1993 and he has since graduated from college. Gunnar actually attended Full Sail University, the same institute of higher education for WWE Films episodes of NXT. During his time there, Gunnar was so busy with his programs and studies that he could never make it out to attend a show, unfortunately not getting to see any of the stars perform. Oh boy, I mean, I never knew that The Undertaker had so many children from four daughters and one son, a few of them. But, it turns out that I already know that his daughter was trying to start off in the wrestling, wrestling business, trying to fulfill half her father's legacy. And more importantly though, I really hope that someday The Undertaker's daughter really does make it to the wrestling scene, just like her father. The Undertaker was a judge. Wrestler's Court, led by The Undertaker as the judge, is an infamous backstage courtroom in WWE that dished out punishment for anyone who stepped out of line. The court was used in a light-hearted manner but wrestlers were fearful if they were called upon it immediately. Maintained order behind the scenes. This man, I mean, my goodness. The Undertaker has done it all here outside the wrestling world before um, he got big in professional wrestling. I mean, wrestlers court was one thing, but I guess that The Undertaker wanted it to be where he thought it'd be a good way to release stress around the world for the wrestlers. If they were accused, it would render the judgment. But let's just hope that The Undertaker in the near future attends wrestlers court one of these days. And there you have it, you guys. The Undertaker has done it all in this business. And more importantly, though, he's done a lot throughout the wrestling world that nobody has thought anyone has ever seen. And The Undertaker, I grew up watching as a kid. He's done it all in this business. Well, The Undertaker is still known as the Phenom. He's been around this business for over 30 years now. He's already a Hall of Famer. I'm just very glad enough that he's already in the Hall of Fame this year. So anyways, guys, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. And subscribe to this channel so you can see more content. I've been Cole Behan, representing 412 Films, talking about amazing facts about The Undertaker. If you guys want to hear more wrestling facts, stay tuned for the next video. And maybe sooner or later we'll talk more about other wrestlers that you guys may not know. This has been Beyond the Ring, so you guys have a nice day. See ya. Throughout time in professional wrestling, there has been so many superstars and legends that come and go, but you may have remembered this man as a WWE 16-time champion. But the question on everyone's minds is, where did he all begin, and how did his career begin? Find out, coming soon.